Hey content creators, Nina here. And today we are going to remove the background from an image. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're not only gonna remove the background from an image, we are going to edit the image and we are going to create a graphic just like this. Is it a graphic, a gif, a video? Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna accomplish that today. This is gonna be quick and easy, but I really wanted you guys um, to get the answer to this because I get this question all of the freaking time. So let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and create a design. And in this case, we're gonna create an Instagram post. It's actually gonna turn out to be an Instagram video, but there's a point in this process where you can just stop and make it an image if you'd like. Now, first thing that I'm going to do is just upload my image. And for you, you would upload your image. For me, I've already done that. And a lot of times I actually have folders that have my photos in it already. So if you haven't watched my first tutorial on Canva, go ahead and go back to that video. It is very detailed and it's all about how to set up your Canva so everything's there when you need it. All right, so I am going to use this picture. I tested this out earlier and I wanna use the same picture. So I think it's this one, or is it this one? Okay, yeah, it's this one because I wanted one with my hair flying all over. If you are a natural girl like me, you know that a lot of these background removers will like cut off your hair like in, mm. at awkward points, but in this part in Canva, we're fine. So I'm gonna click here and you have to have Pro to do this. I'm gonna go up to effects and I am going to remove the background. Now, before I do this, one of the things that happens is we go through and adjust the photo, mm -hmm. add filters and all mm -hmm. that. Always, always, always remove the background before you do that because when you're adjusting um, and using these different features, it's gonna take into consideration all of these colors and all of these items around it. And you really just want to take in, into consideration your image. So make sure you always remove the background first and then you go back and change the colors, make it more vivid, all of that, which we'll do today. All right, so what's great is it's gonna remove the background, it's gonna do its thing. Um, and again, I love, love, love oh. that it got every strand of my hair. Now, let's say you don't like the way this looks, right? You can go over to the left-hand side, click on Erase, and I would zoom in a little bit and fill it. Okay, and you could actually do full screen, I'm not gonna do that right now. And you can go through and do this. Okay, now in some apps, if you make a mistake, you can go back, do restore, and like just do that little part. But notice this is putting the entire background. All right, so I'm gonna actually cancel this and then I'm gonna leave it back in its original state. Um, but again, you can go through and erase whatever you need to if you'd like to take away all of those stragglers. So usually, again, when you do this, what I would suggest is lowering the brush size to itty bitty teeny tiny and then upping what you see, the zoom, so you can just be very precise in what you delete, okay? So you go through and do that. So the next step that I would do is after you get the background removed, click on done. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna probably want to change um, how it looks, maybe touch it up a little bit. So again, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna feel. And one of the things that you can do, again, these are pro features, you click on it and you can either use a filter, right? So I can do one of these just depending on the look that you're going for. Notice that when you click on one of these items, you can also use this bar on some of them to make the intensity more, or just have like a touch of filter. See how, like you can't really see that, but it still adds it and this clarifies it. So I don't want any of these. Nope. So I'm gonna go back to none. All right, so now what we're gonna do is actually adjust it manually. I like this better because I can look at individual items, right? I'm gonna reset this. Zero is neutral, FYI. I like to add a little bit of saturation just because my skin tone is a little olive, right? Sometimes, like I used to be like way too saturated, but I'm just gonna add a little bit just to make it pop and get the blue in my hair out. Now I can tint it a little bit. I don't really like the tints, but if you want a certain look, you can use a tint. 
Again, I'm gonna move this back to zero. It's just easier for me to actually type in zero than to try to find out where zero is. So I'm gonna move this up just a tad bit more. And then this one, I love this. It adds like a vivid kind of look. So again, you're gonna wanna do all of this before you start editing the like actual graphic if you're making a graphic. In fact, you can reset it here. And then if this is something that you do with all your photos, you can actually save the filter code. So save that somewhere. Now, one of the things that you want to do is if you're going to use this in multiple um, graphics, I would just stop here, right? And maybe pull it down to the bottom, right? You're going to want to pull it to the bottom. So it stops there. And then when you download it, you really want to put it as or select PNG as the file type and choose transparent background. And that's when you're going to um, download it, right? Now, we're gonna actually create a graphic, so I'm gonna keep on going. Um, so, whoa. <laughs> so I'm using my, um, just for you guys who like shortcuts, I'm using my control key and the mouse to like zoom in and zoom out. So that's why it's going so fast. Actually, I changed my mind. This video is getting way too long. So I am splitting this into two. So if you wanna figure out how I made this image or GIF or GIF or whatever we're gonna call it for today, go ahead and head over to my next video. But before you do that, I am looking for a few people to fill out a survey. It's just a quick survey about your content creation needs. And I am giving away a free content creation strategy session to five lucky creatives. All right, see you in the next video and see you in the survey. Ciao.